Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Grass Designs. First of all, I'm sorry about the dang fish tank. If my husband and I could ever get together on filling up the fish tank, it might get filled up. This is this is one of those um, uh, honey pot molds. Um, and it's actually from Let's Resin. Um, I, I actually bought this. So. I don't know why I poured it orange. It was supposed to turn out a little more yellow. But, I'm just going to do a quick unmolding. Demolding. Oh my goodness. Okay, if I can get this off of the resin. There we go. Okay, just broke the seal all the way around. I've got a little 91% alcohol. I know alcohol can have an effect on resin um, just be sure your resin is cured just one squirt like that then I'll just massage it around the mold a little bit hey everybody it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs First of all, I gotta apologize. This was supposed to be a demolding. I, this part demolded fine. The pot part. Which is quite a bit heavier than I expected. But the lid... Let me explain a little bit. When I went back and looked in my cup it had a little bit of unpulled out resin so my my ratios were off so yeah it happens to us all trust me it's not that you don't know what you're doing. Weird stuff happens. I have no idea how I'm going to get this off. I just was going to give it a another day or two and see if I could harden it up a bit. It's now been two days and, and still just as... So I have to get this off. And I don't know what to do with it. Throw it away. I hate throwing. I hate throwing stuff away. Not necessarily. I hate throwing stuff away. I hate throwing away projects. Really, really upsets me. So I re-poured this in the uh, top of the mold. I'll show you that tomorrow morning when we do actually demold it. Alright. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you so that um, <laughs> maybe you'll see that uh, mistakes happen to everybody. Okay, now I'm gonna demold. Okay, now, this one has gotten considerably easier to demold after the first couple of uses. It's 
so I said. love how this one turns out. So pretty. Okay. This is the first time I've used either one of these. Uh, sorry, the second time. After the first time was such a fail. Alright. <clears throat> Just have to get it started. Then it's just a matter of rolling it back on itself. Now, let me explain a little something. This particular lid, the opening is the top. So you're probably wondering, how do I fill it up? Do I fill it just to the lip? Do I fill it till it reaches the lip? Till it domes? Till okay. I filled it just till it reached even with the top of the mold. Okay. Now, my, um, mm -hmm, isn't completely, completely level. But it, it doesn't give a sharp lid. Now, that may just be the way I filled it. Because, um, resin does shrink just the tiniest bit so just a maybe a lot sand right around the edge right there but it's really not necessary oh, so <laughs> compared to my first lid this is still It's like I made it with soft cure resin or something. No, I can't even get it off. <clears throat> That's funny. Not ha ha funny, but weird funny. That's cute. Yes, that is adorable. 
a little bit of um, jute or ribbon around the jar lid and then it'd be so cute with some um, uh -huh, some vinyl decals like from your Cricut or your in my case silhouette <clears throat> All right, there's demolding. And the other one was the starfish. Just um, what I had left in, in my resin pot. <clears throat> Which is why it didn't do completely, but it's still a pretty starfish. So, there we go. Like I said, it's the first time using this um, particular set. <clears throat> so, um, in hindsight, I wouldn't have done it orange. I'm sorry. I intentionally was a little bit more yellow. like a honey pot <laughs> but the orange just got out of hand all right thank y'all so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye for now